What's up guys, Sir All About Music here bringing you another album review, continuing the Cake discography, which we only have one more CD left in after this. Um, today we'll be talking about 2004's Pressure Chief. Now, when Pressure Chief came out, I went and got it, um, and I hated it. Hated it, hated it, hated it. I could not stand the thing. Uh, and the reason is, is because there is a large, uh, electronic presence on this album. This is, I think it's somewhat comparable to Kid A or R.E.M.'s Up along that, you know, along the, the thought process of, okay, stepping into the electronic territory. Uh, that, and I think that was the thing that really turned me off because when I got this, I, I didn't listen to electronic music at all. I listened to, to guitar-driven rock and roll music. That's what I listened to. Um, I, I, you know, so this was outside of my comfort zone for a, a, a fair, a fair amount of time. So that was the really big thing of it for me. The other thing that I didn't like about this album was the fact that Vincent DeFewer's trumpet playing is nowhere near being a, a, a real part of the music. Um, it was, you know, on all their other albums, Vincent's trumpet is, you know, one of the staples of the Cake sound. You know, when when I pick up a Cake record, I love listening to his 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 uh, his trumpet. Uh, it's just not on this album, and the reason is is because, of course, Vincent does most of the keyboard stuff. Uh, I wasn't really happy with that, but there's nothing wrong with the songwriting on this album. There's nothing at all wrong with the songwriting on this album. The only reason I didn't like it was the aesthetic. Just the aesthetic of the sound, I didn't dig. Uh, now that I've gotten over that, I love, you know, I really do really like this album. I honestly, you know, I don't, there's not, yeah, they're just really great songs. Probably the song that I don't like, you know, that I hate the most is uh, uh, She'll Hang the Baskets. That's really the only one that really, you know, bugs me but um all the rest of them i think are great and they all you know they all have great pop hooks to them typical of you know most of cake's discography great pop hooks um you know they don't get boring um and there's just you know with the addition of the keyboards with you know this whole exploration into the electronic side of music there's a lot to listen to. There's a real lushness to the sound because there, and at any given time, there can be, you know, three um, melodies going on at once, you know, or a melody and a couple of counter melodies. There, there can just be so much going on at once. And this is just, this album isn't as bare bones as Cake's previous work. Uh, it, 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 they really, they really start to instrument their sound, add instrumentation in their sound, and make it l lusher. Uh, so that's another thing that I really, really like about it. But there are some bare bones tracks on here. Um, what was the end of the movie? End of the movie is one. Uh, dime a little bit it has a little bit of sparseness to it. There's some other tracks on here, but in general, there's a really lush sound because you got because of the addition of the keyboards and you know shoving them all together and all that stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. I now looking on listening to the album now, I really again don't have any problems with it. The thing about this album though is it's pretty moody. It's pretty dark and it's pretty moody, uh, which isn't typical of Cake's sound. The, the fun side is still there. You know, there's still some fun there. Um, there well, there is some fun there. Not some. It's a, it's a fun album still, but it's 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 darker and it's a fun attitude. There's a lot. Of, there's some really moody songs on here, and just the approach is, you know, moodier overall. Uh, so it's fun, but it's like a dangerous kind of fun. That's that's about as close as I can get to explaining it. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's a dangerous kind of fun. It's not it's not the happy-go-lucky kind of fun that you find on their earlier work. So Pressure Chief, um, and I don't think this this went over very well with Cake fans in general. Uh, I could be wrong about that, um, but from 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 posts that I've read on forums and stuff like that, this just didn't go over all that well. 
and I can understand that. Again, this this is along the lines of Comfort Eagle and the fact that they kind of stepped out of of their 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 sound and they tried something different. And I admire them for that, honestly. Um, and I think they did a great job listening back to this. I think they did a fantastic job with this album. I honestly now have no complaints about it. Uh, yeah, that's about all I gotta say. Uh, originality, fantastic. They still retain that cake sound, but they give you a fresh perspective on it because they're trying something new. I love that about it. So, originality, great. Um, I like this album. <clears throat> it's definitely, it's definitely, I definitely enjoy it, and uh, I- I'll listen to it, you know, fairly often. The flow, I think the flow, the flow is okay. <clears throat> it's not bad, but it does it doesn't have the tightness uh, that that Comfort Eagle has for me. It, the the flow on here se- seems to be kind of loose. Um, some songs just don't don't seem to mesh too well with the, the overall with the overall weave of the album. Um, whether that's because the, the songs themselves just don't fit or they're in a wrong position or something like that, I don't know. I just know that sometimes it's a little iffy. It gets a little, uh, 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 yeah, it gets a little iffy. And production. The production on this album is clean. It's very clean. It's, it's a little too clean for me. I mean, their, their earlier stuff is a little dirty. They're, you know, the, the production isn't, isn't you know sanitary uh that's where pressure chief kind of takes that turn because of the electronic music influence um i think that's where the clean production kind of came from uh because it's not a guitar driven album that's what you get but hey oh well it's still a fantastic album i would definitely recommend getting it uh and i could give this a 7 out of 10 pressure chief 7 out of 10 7 out of 10. So, that's all I got to say. It's all about music. I'll see you guys next time.